Okay, let's look at the idea or the concept of weight. So this first line says the law of gravity. What is that again? It's that this gravitational uh, attraction between two objects, one and two, is proportional to the product of their masses divided by r squared. So it says that this law states that the force of gravity depends on the location. Okay? So, so then they say, this figure, 1315, okay, of these astronauts floating, apparently weightless, it shows these astronauts orbiting at about 400 kilometers above the Earth, floating weightlessly inside, inside the spacecraft. And the question is, this is the interesting question, do they float weightlessly because this force of gravity <clears throat> has been reduced to a negligible value? So the question is, they're floating weightlessly, right? And we know that the force of gravity is dependent on this distance. So is this weightlessness, this floating, is it due to the, perhaps this distance being so large that this force of gravity has become negligible, very small, so small that they're floating. Okay, so this is the way this section opens up. Okay, so now to try to solve this and answer this question, let's look at um, checkpoint 13.7. The space shuttle typically orbits Earth at an altitude of about 300 kilometers. By what factor is the shuttle's distance to the center of Earth increased over that of the object on the ground? Okay, so there's the Earth, there's an object on the ground, and there, right, and there is the shuttle. So that's 300 kilometers. Okay, all right, so let's look at A. See if I can quickly find A. The radius of the Earth is about 6,400 kilometers, right? 6,400. So the distance of, so do the distance to Earth's center is increased by a factor of 6,400 plus 300, right? That's 300 there. Um, so this increase, this distance, divided by this distance, is 1.05. Okay, so that's the factor. The distance has increased by a factor of uh, 1.05, multiplied by 1.05. B, the gravitational force exerted by Earth on an object in orbiting in the orbiting shuttle is how much smaller than the gravitational force exerted by Earth on the same object when it is on the ground. So if there's an object here on the ground, or there's that exact same object orbiting at 300 kilometers, how are those gravitational forces different? How are they different? Okay, you can go through this and you'll see that the gravitational force on the object, let me just do it again, here's the Earth, uh, here's the object on the Earth, and here's the object, I know it's not to scale, but here's the object on the Earth, here's the object uh, in the orbit, uh, in the, at 300 kilometers away in orbit, the, the force decreases um, by a factor of 1 over that to equal 0.91. 